Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Chris with Billabox.info and uh, I've got something else to show you today. This is going to be, I guess, a, uh, a second look at the Cloud RBA. Now, this is going to be a little different because it's not exactly the same as the Cloud RBA that I've been using for the last few months. Uh, we did the initial video on this one about two months ago, and uh, it's become or stayed one of my probably top three or four, uh, one of my favorites. And uh, there's a new version of it. It's not a new, you know, like a V2 or anything. Uh, there's been some some changes to it. So um, this is the first batch, which is in this box. Um, I believe I have figured out their their um, their uh, serial number system because this one was serial number one dash oh oh four. So I think that one indicates the the um, the batch number because this one comes from batch two and i have already opened it i haven't used it i haven't built it uh just took a picture of it and you know just kind of inventoried what was in it um this one is got a, a two dash a serial number so uh we'll take a look at that but let me tell you a little bit about the differences right off the get-go um basically it's pretty much the same same kind of a couple of aesthetic differences the um uh, it's still 316 stainless steel, uh, stainless 316 screws, uh, peak insulator, uh, O-rings are uh, from MBR, and it should still hold about 4.2 milliliters of juice. Uh, nothing really changed in the size of the actual, the body of the RBA itself. Um, luckily, I had some issues with the V1 where with a standard billet box boro, I had a hell of a time getting the chimney into the top. It was really tight, so I ended up having to use a PRC Pro Row, and uh, it slid right into it with a little, little more, a little less resistance. So um, with the V2, or it's not a V2, with the batch number two, there's uh, changes in the the engraving on which I'll show you in a moment um, there's additional airflow pins the original one <clears throat> uh, batch one came with a one millimeter a 1.5 a two millimeter a three millimeter and a four millimeter they kind of uh, they're adding two additional sets of uh, pins and I believe these would probably I'm not sure if they're gonna come with it or not the RRP was like 140 euro for the for the uh, first batch, um, but there's four more pins here, and the packaging that came in says RDL kit and MTL kit. So they're adding a 0 0.8 and a point uh, a, a point eight millimeter and a 1.2 in the mouth to lung kit, and they're adding a 2.5 and a 3.5 in the RDL kit. So uh, that is a really cool thing. Uh, I don't know the pricing on that yet. This has not released. Um, has not. The second batch hasn't been released yet. Um, the logo is different, like I said. There's also, like I said, there was a difference in the chimney. Um, they have made that a little less tight in the in the. Uh, they've just, they've they reduced the chamber around the the circumference there a little bit. So. Uh, we'll test that and see if it is a big difference. So anyway, let's jump right down and take a look at it. So here's what we get. Uh, and we'll set that one aside. That's the original one. Same box as the, as the uh, first batch. What you get in the box, you get a couple extra screws here. Um, these are 1.3 millimeter hex head screws. You get a hex key for that and a couple of rings. Here we got our different airflow pins, which assumingly um, whatever's in the actual RBA itself and uh, 
these four together should come up with 1.0, 1 1.5, 1 2.0, 3.0, and 4.0. So I'm not sure what we're going to have in there. We'll set these aside. And like I said, we've got these two kits here with uh, additional airflow pin sizes. Uh, for this purpose of this, I'm probably not going to use either one of these because I'm quite happy with the four millimeter. And uh, I'm not sure if the four millimeter is in there or if it's in the RBA itself, but we'll find out in a moment. But like I said, with the serial numbers, this says number 2 184, whereas the one with my original one, which was batch 1, says 1 004. So that's probably what this 2 is, is batch 2. So that's our authenticity card. And here's the RBA itself. Set this aside. We're not going to need these, so I'm going to throw that back in the box. As I always say, you always want to try to keep all your stuff together. Alright, so here's the second batch engraving. Instead of um, it, instead of uh, being laser engraved, I had this logo on this side, and then the I like this side better because it actually says what it is, which is the Cloud RBA. Instead of being laser engraved, this is now CNC engraved. It's still 1.316 uh, 3, L stainless steel, but it's engraved in there and it's got the same engraving on both sides. Actually, is that exactly the same? Yes, exactly the same. So um, when you open this up, one thing to note the, uh, ooh, let me throw this on here and pull it out. That thing can get a little tight with that o-ring down there there we go oh, I still got a build in this one I forgot to take that out um, but the deck itself appears to be the same Ooh, dropping stuff so this is the first batch and this is the second batch let me turn it that way so we got the exact same Everything appears to be exactly the same, other than this one's well used, and this one has not ever been used, and that is not a, th a four millimeter pin in there, I can guarantee you that, so we're gonna change that out. But, just to show you the differences, let's put this back on here. One of the issues we had on the video for the original, this one, was this chimney was really tight to get through there. It went in just fine this way, but when I would turn it around, it, it, it was pretty difficult to get up through there. So uh, the bottom was okay. It didn't have much of an issue, but it is pretty tight, but that didn't change at all down here. The only thing that should have changed is this top section here, which we can, if I had calipers or something, we could take a look at that, the original on this side. The new one on that side but i don't so we'll just have to take your word for it but with the stock bb beat it up bbv boro i want to get these mixed up here a little tight to put through which is not a problem it didn't cause any issues but it was really tight so what i ended up having to do during that video and for the next two months is I use this pro row and it just comes right through I mean it was so simple to go in now with the new one it feels like it's a lot not looser but a lot easier to go through I'm going through slow but it goes through really easily now and I worry that this will be too loose it goes right through there. It's not going to be too loose. That's got a seal there, so we're good to go. Uh, we're going to put it back in this one, despite... I just want to pull this one out to show what that issue was. And uh, kind of hoping that maybe this change was as a result of the struggles I had on my video. So, um, you know, I like that when there's something wrong with some... Or something... Not wrong, wrong, but, you know, something difficult... That the company takes action and makes it work now another thing i wanted to test <clears throat> this is the or the, the the second batch and this is the original batch put these together 
this is pretty loose on that but this one seems to hold on a lot snugger uh, maybe not maybe not it's about the same but it doesn't really matter because when you have your drip tip or your flush nut in there it's going to be keeping it pushed together anyway so um <clears throat> the snail tank that just came out as you can see i've got some scratches on the inside of it and that's because some of these rbas that are kind of bigger if you put them in the snail tank they're 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 going in just fine but they're touching the inner wall inside of there with this cloud rba the the um juice comes in through these holes and these holes and they're not impeded by the, this actually touching the inner uh section of this snail tank i can put all this together if i really wanted to uh just to show you push that all the way down seat that and it's in there and that would work just fine so what i want to try now i don't think anything's changed with this section of the second run of the cloud rba but we're going to test it anyway so this is i'm i'm scratching it inside that tank but there's a tip to doing this though if you want to put a little bit of juice if you know it's going to be a little tight put a little juice on both sides and i found that it's uh kept from scratching it up too bad i think we're going to still have the same problem here which is not a problem it's just you know a little minor inconvenience but if i put a little juice right here and here this would slide in a lot easier uh, it's still touching so nothing's really been changed there which is i wasn't expecting but i just thought i'd check anyway so we put all this together all right go in there there we go there we are in the snail tank but touching but would still operate just fine like i said so anyway let's get that out of there put this is aside we're not going to use this in there all right so here we are uh if in case you didn't see the first one this is the cloud rba your juice comes in through these holes here and these holes here like i said and then on the bottom your airflow comes through these holes here you've got threading on the base here so it'll line up so you don't have to use an adapter to put it on your builder and on the very bottom it says cloud mods on that side and your serial number right there 2-184 that's a really neat that reflection off of my purple lights over there looks really cool on that <laughs> So um, you've got this section here, and then you have this section, and then there's your deck. These are 1.3 millimeter hex head screws. You've got this type of system here where it's really easy to just slide those under. We'll show you in a minute. And then you've got your peak insulator here. Your airflow pin comes up through there, and we can unscrew this airflow pin here and this uh positive post is going to come loose uh, we're going to do that in just a moment because we're going to throw a bigger airflow pin in there and then inside of the this section you have some doming which really helps with that flavor so there's your differences between the two let's throw this one together here first thing we're going to do is take a look i'm going to go ahead and take this pin out when you take this pin out like i said your positive post is going to come loose there so if you hold that just kind of let it sit there get lined up when we're getting ready to put the new one in there oops went ahead and fill out on me there we go set that aside and don't lose this little piece here because we're going to need to put that on our new pin if i can get it off of there huh See, that thing came right off on the other one. Why don't you want to come off? There we go. Just set that aside. And we're going to find the biggest one we can find in this package here. 
Uh, like I said, the reduced direct lung kit here, these are going to have a 2.5 and a 3.5. I'm not going to use one of those. So that is bigger. So this may be our three and that may, or that may be our four. I'm not sure. That's definitely smaller. Definitely, definitely smaller. And if this one is smaller, this is going to be our three. Oh, that's bigger. There's our four right there. So this is our three. This is our four. We're going to put this four in here. So I'm going to grab this and I'm going to hold that positive pin and make sure. Oh, I have to put this on first. That fits on there really tight. The other one was quite loose. I think that's a good thing. So you could just finger tight that to get it started. And our positive post is good to go now. So I'm gonna take, this will fit in here and I'll just kinda, one little turn on there to get a little snug. And there we have it. So I'm gonna put the rest of these airflow pins back in the baggie. So I don't wanna lose those. <clears throat> And then we're going to throw this, the deck onto our builder. Got plenty of turns there. Set this aside. Put that right there. And there we have it. Big four millimeter airflow. There we go. So we're going to put one of these uh, 2.5 millimeter um, nano aliens from uh, Star Builds, Jason Sheriff. Uh, I've, I've, I've tried threes and uh, 2.5s and I, I tend to like these 2.5s a little better. Just my own personal preference. So let me grab one of these out of here. And I may go ahead and just when I post production this, I might just fast forward through all this building because y'all have already seen me do this once before. Cool rod, 2.5. Let me go ahead and pull these screws back a little bit. Ooh, there goes the notifications. All right, there we go. Got room to throw that in there now. Gonna set that right there. Get it through both sides. Alright. Maybe I should grab my phone and mute this. So y'all don't have to hear all that. So I'm just gonna take a little bit, snug it up just a little bit, and then I'm gonna move that thing around. Oops, I missed on this side. Alright. I can. This is going to pull this side over. There we go. I caught it this time. All right. So now I'm just going to move this cool over to where we're going from one side to the other directly to our our um, these right here. The where we're going to put our cotton at these cha channels here line this thing up to where it comes over a little bit come over this way just a tad now i'm going to tighten this down all the way and snip these leads i think i like that where are my clippers at all right where are they there they are to get this as close as I can. And I'm 
on this side. There we go. That should be good. We don't have any burrs. All right, so I'm not. I haven't got it set yet, but we got a 0.27. Let's throw this cap on here and make sure that we're not touching. 0.27. We're good to go. All right, so let's uh, get this thing ready to cotton up. There we go. I want to move that a little bit though. All right. There we are. All right, that's where we're going to put it right there. What do we come out with? Uh, 0.46. Should be about a 0.4, so that's close enough. 0.46 still. This probably will come out a little higher when we're all said and done here. All right, I like that. 0.46, that's what we're gonna go with. All right, let's throw some cotton in this thing. Just about perfect. All right, so I'm gonna use my, I'm gonna cut right up to the edge there on both sides. And what I have done, found for me is I go ahead and cut a little bit off the top here, like a little 45 on both sides. And get this extra cotton out of the way. And let's throw a little juice on there. Or a lot. All right, now I'm going to take and just get this stuff. I'm probably going to take a little bit off. Yeah, I'm going to take a little bit off each side and get this to go down into that channel. All right, I'm just going to get this, uh, make sure all of the cotton is in that little channel and then we're going to put the, the middle section or the whole chamber over it. Uh, I don't know if I got it. I didn't get enough on this side. I can get all that in there though. I just don't want any to get over that um that o-ring so let me just take a little bit more off the bottom here that'll do it a little piece though missed a little piece all 
I don't claim to be a pro builder here, but there we go. That's what we're going to go with. And we ended up with a point four six. Let's put this on here. Make sure that we're still good. Still a point four six, so let's put it in the borrow. We're gonna put it back in this pro row here, or not back in this one for the first time. So Let's put that chimney in first. Come on, lay down. Put this side. Line that up. Push it through. And there you have it. some juice on there there you go let's pop this in a billet Point five oh. I could probably get that a little different, but it could be a simple. Yeah, still point five oh. All right, let's go up and see what it tastes like. I don't expect to taste any different than it did the first time. Ooh yeah. I missed you, banana. I was out of that jam monster banana for a while. Very nice. So, went a lot easier into the boro. Well, it went fine into this boro to start with, but it went in a lot easier with the standard billet box vapor boro. This, um, this engraving looks killer. Um, I didn't have a problem with this engraving. I preferred this side because it says Cloud RBA on it over this side which is you know like a big cloud head um it looks a lot better with this cnc engraving i don't know if that's focusing in real good it looks a lot better to me um you know it doesn't say the cloud name on it but you by now you're gonna know it's cloud rva because of the style the flavor's great um i could have tried a different airflow pin and i may try the 3.5 in the future but i like the four so i'm sticking with the four i don't do mouth to lungs so this additional 0.8 and point 1.2 <clears throat> would be great for some people but it's not for me so we won't even give that a whirl yeah guys that's it that's the batch two of the cloud rba That was a little quick wicking. We've got some bubbles going on here. I'll show you that. Well, you can't really see it at the angle I've got it, but I was getting some uh, good wicking out of the back. Um, you know, I'm not getting it out of the front, but it doesn't really matter. Getting those uh, fart bubbles. Very nice, very nice. So, well done to Cloud Mods, who, by the way, is out of Greece. Uh, I got that wrong 
in the first video. I had never been aware of any of uh, Cloud's previous, you know, uh, endeavors before they got a RBA going. So I did not know much about the company. But yeah, this is it. This is the Cloud RBA uh, batch two, new engraving, a little different, um, a little smaller tolerance on the uh, on the um, chimney, so it'll fit the top of the bore of O-ring better. Uh, extra airflow pins, probably going to be the same price. My guess is these two kits are going to be a, a slight additional fee. I'm not sure what that will be yet. You'll have to uh, check the retailers that you know might carry these or the group itself, Cloud RB or Cloud Mods uh, on Facebook. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Peace.